different ball of wax. Yeah. It was lovely. We Definitely. Had the thunder this morning, the rain, the whole thing, and only mm -hmm. in the 90s. Yeah, only in the 90s. So, Neil, we were actually out at Cedar Creek Lake mm -hmm. when we went out and shot that KETK Gives Back mm -hmm. segment. I mean, you could just see uh, beyond the lake there, you see the it. lightning. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You can see a severe yeah. thunderstorm on the other side Come of it on. there in Ellis and Coffin County. But None of that's happening right now, but it definitely came down this morning. It was raining cats and dogs when I walked outside and once again, some heavy rain over some of our northern counties. Now it was more spotty, wasn't as widespread to the north than what it was in Smith County, but look at this Northwest Wood County just to the south of Sulphur Springs, 3.8 inches of rain, a swath of rain, especially along Highway 155 from Emerald Bay all the way up to the loop here. Some pretty good rainfall totals exceeding a couple of inches there 3.6 uh, just outside of Flint about 1.6 on the north side of Jacksonville Robbie down at Priscilla picked up about 1.3 inches of rain and then Allison picked up 36 hundredths of an inch and just to the west of Lufkin we've had a couple of reports here of over an inch of rain radar amounts and again the radar amount will vary just a little bit on what you actually saw it's actually an estimate of the rainfall that fell about an inch and a half. Now, did it help our drought monitor? The answer is no, because all of that data is taken into account and it stops on Tuesday. We get the results of that data on Thursday, which is today, and this was last week's drought monitor. Now notice moderate to severe drought for most locations, and it has gotten worse, which is no surprise. You can see more of the area under that severe drought now. An extreme drought has kind of made its way into the region. That includes Southern Wood and Southern Upshur counties. So I know a lot of people are probably annoyed by all the burn bans, folks. It's for good reason because it's been dry. It's also been hot. The triple tracker through yesterday. We didn't see triple digits today. As Neil mentioned, we have 20 so far in Tyler this year, 16 in Longview. Lufkin has seen 13 occurrences and during meteorological summer, we've already exceeded the average number of 100 degree days for all three of those locations and there's really no relief in sight, but this is kind of a nice sight. Temperatures are in the 90s. This is Longview. Lots of sunshine around temperatures at 94 degrees visibility no issues there and winds are comfortably out of the south southeast at about seven miles per hour. We'll take that for what it's worth. Going to be a beautiful evening. We're in the 90s in our northern counties. It's 87 now at UT Tyler. We're now down to 92 at Tyler Pounds Airport. 80s and 90s across Cherokee County. It's 92 in Elkhart and 93 in Nacogdoches and a little warmer in deep east Texas. They didn't see as much rain. We're also watching for these showers and thunderstorms just to see if they can't move off to the north into parts of Sabine. County, but nonetheless, we'll keep an eye on that. Likely not to see much in the way of rain. Rain's moving away from us for tonight. Rain chances are slim as we move into tomorrow. We'll see decreasing clouds tonight. We're mostly sunny by daybreak. We're down to about 74 degrees. We hit 100 tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of sunshine in our northern counties. Those rain chances will stay to our south. Hundreds through the weekend, 20% chance of showers on Monday. So hopefully we can squeeze out a little more rain on Monday. Right now, models really aren't budging on any higher rainfall amounts. And then deep east Texas, triple Saturday and Sunday with that isolated rain chance Monday. Neil? It was a final day. That